take day two currently of our husky sledging challenge. Um, it has been a bit of a challenge in many ways in terms of the weather conditions here at the moment because it's actually warmer than it was anticipated to be. So we're, instead of having single sledges or sledders, sleds, we um, are actually having to double up. So this is Rihanna in the back and this is me having to sit. So we take it in turns. Um, but yeah, it's um, the dogs in front. We can't let them run all day. Um, they are working dogs and this is absolutely fine for the dogs and that's what they're used to. And you should see how happy they are when we get running. But ultimately, obviously it'd be very unfair because they're so used to minus conditions. And it's about probably, I would imagine about two degrees today, something like that. And yesterday was probably about six. So it's been, it's been challenging in those terms. Um, you know, it's not actually been as cold as what was anticipated. So, but I mean, the scenery is absolutely fantastic. And yeah, it's, you know, it's so much fun, I have to say. So I'm just going to turn it around and let you see what we can see. And I'm going to be piecing this together into a longer video anyway. So yeah, here we go. This is now the other side. So we've got six dogs that are pulling our sled. Um, usually they're before to one person, but it's actually better to just have six to, to two people at the moment. Um, it's definitely, as I say, cooler today than yesterday and the conditions that we're sledding in are much better because it's slightly icier, which is great. Um, yesterday was very slushy, so it was actually really hard to sled on when it's really slushy because it just piles up on our brakes and everything else. So yeah, but you can just see how stunning this scenery is around going through the forest. And when I piece this together into a video, you'll see a little bit that we have to go via a lake, um, which they weren't sure about taking us on initially because it looked like it was actually thawing. Um, so it made us feel quite nervous. Um, and you'll see why later in this video. go we're going through forest and yeah it's absolutely stunning I can't believe how good it is this bit's quite flat but there's like lots of uphills and downhills and when you're going on the uphill literally the driver has to um, run at the back of the sledge to help these dogs actually get up the hill you know because it's hard work So this is after lunch and the dogs are all getting ready to go. Ready to go. So it's doggy feeding time. So Fiona is mixing up. What? What is it? Absolutely no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's mint and biscuit and a gravy made out of. Well, there was tripe in it yesterday. I don't think there's any tripe in it no, today, no do we? No. So it looks a bit like this to begin with. So just so you can see what we're having to do to work for our money. I don't think this is or really all the hard. money that you're donating to for us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, he's gone quiet now for the video. <laughs> so, I'm just going to show you what we're feeding. So, we literally we've got all this. There we go. And we put in one and a half into 
a bowl. And then... Well, there's a big scoop you have. So is that, too, is that too big? Yeah, oh, that's just one. Yeah. I mean, to take half out. Okay, fed them too much. So, and I'll just show you. We're just going to take it down. We're going to take it down to this dog, and, and he's going to love it. Here we go, Guru. There we are. Fantastic. Do you do the same thing as her from the other side? Yeah. So some of the team have actually decided to dig out a snow cave. I'm not sure if anyone's actually going to sleep in it, but this is what we're up to tonight. So Rihanna's digging out the um, inside, and we have Fiona, and Misha, and Sabrina, and Jason and I just watching, really. <laughs> So this is the campsite as well that we've been staying in. Um, we've been switching around a little bit. Again, this wasn't our original trip because we were meant to be erecting our own tents and things like that. But these are actually have all been pre-erected, I'll be quite honest about it. Um, I say the whole trip was changed because of COVID. And then obviously now at the moment with the warmer weather that we tend to have here. So there's a little lodge. We've got no, it's got, I mean, it's all basic. We've got no electricity, we've got no running water. Um, we have to pee in a, in a, in a bucket in the, in the little shed there. Um, and anything else that you need to do. And we've um, been, as well as our sledging today, we've been snowshoeing, which was fun. I've done a couple of miles in the snowshoes. And yeah, I can feel it, I'll tell you. My muscles have worked much harder than they do when we're walking. There is a sauna, I've not used it yet, but I'm planning on going in there quite shortly, actually. And now they are very busy over there with their snow cave. So it's our last day of sledding, and off we go. Ready, steady. Here we go. So it's early morning sledging. This is our last and final day. We're at the lead of the pack at the moment. Sunrise hasn't come up yet. It's about half past four in the morning, I think. Something like that. So, um, yeah, our dogs are up. The reason why we're doing it at this time is, again, just because it's too warm during the day. So we have to bring them out when it's a suitable time for the dogs. Um, so we're all really, really tired. So it's been a challenge. I got up at two this morning to actually help to feed the dogs so they've got a bit of time before um, we obviously set off. So three of us got up at two o'clock and we set off about four o'clock uh, for our, well just after four, we didn't have not long into it, so um, for our daily sledge. There's a skidoo at the front, he leads the way and just makes sure that everything's safe and the path is okay for us. So today's been a little bit tough. It's on Wednesday now, so we're, we're just about, well, we finished the sledding today. But I, I don't really know what happened. Um, I woke up with a headache this morning, went out to go out and feed the dogs at two o'clock in the morning. And um, Rihanna, my daughter, started the sledding. And I just got really cold today, really cold. And then it was my turn to do the sledding. And... I just thought I was going to pass out and so we had to swap back and then I was sick and then she had to do the rest of the sledding so I really missed out today which has been really disappointing but this is all part of it I guess you know and um, it was never meant to be easy. Um, I got really cold, we got back to our lodge today rather than the camping and it's taken me hours to heat up. So the rest of the group have gone out on the skidoos and I'm here chilling out on the sofa. I'm finally warm, which is lovely. I'm having had a shower for the first time in days, which I think is rather nice for everyone. Um, so yeah, and I'm just enjoying some peace and quiet before they all arrive back. And this is Gulu. Gulu was our lead driver for the whole of our trip. 
The other one's this one. I'm not sure what this one's called, but it's definitely trying to get in the shot. Probably a little bit close here, but definitely doesn't like to be missed out on the attention. So Gulu's now been pushed to the back. But hey, Rihanna, you might get a little stroke if the other one doesn't get in there. <laughs> See, the other one likes to be the centre of attention. But Gulu has been absolutely amazing. So this is the last morning and they just talk to each other every now and then. You just get this right howling between them all. Sometimes it happens in the middle of the night, just for like five minutes. They've just been going around and saying goodbye to them and they were absolutely peaceful. But now they're all having a good old natter to each other. But yeah, this is our final morning before we leave. 